welcome to the 2024 Connecticut CIAC State Open Champion. The day that we find out the one best individual and best team in the state. Some of the favorites we have on the boys' side. ECC champ and Class AAM champ, East Slime is one of the favorites. Followed by Xavier, the SEC champ and six-time Class L champ. Richfield, the FCAC champ, defending state open champions, and Class L champ will try to make a run for the championship as well. Next, we have the Panthers of EO Smith. They were second in Class M, and they won the CCC championships. We have a perennial state open qualifier, Danbury. The Hatters, fourth in the FCAC, improved to second in Class L. They'll try to make New England today with a top six finish. They're followed behind by their rivals from the Fairfield County Staples. They were, they were third in the F, second in the FCAC and fourth in Class Double L. Hall's got a really good chance if they can squeeze in. Only six teams make New England's, but they've got an outstanding champ. Their chance. They were second in the CCCs and fourth in Class Double L. For individuals, 1458 is the time to beat. That is Alex Osberg's time from 2014. That is the Wickham record. Soib Disa is gonna make a go at it. He's already gone under 15 seconds on some flat courses this year, but he's gonna see if he has an ultimate amount of energy today to try to get under that 15 minute barrier. Sean McCauley from East Lime. He's one of the favorites. Next up, you have junior Luke Cushing of Amity. Another great runner, all track, all American, Owen Martin. He was third in class L. He's gonna try to break 16 minutes today. East Lime has another runner in the top few possibly. Sam Leone, he was second in, in class double M with a 16-10. Evan Bureau, the Wildcat from Bethel. He was fourth in that highly competitive Class L meet. He's run 16.04 at the Wickham Invitational. He's gonna try to get under 16 minutes. You never know what to expect from the Ridgefield runners. Magnus Manley took it easy last week. He ran 16.12. He was Class Double L champion. He might be in the top two or three. And then also, we have Samuel Zick Levinsky. He was second in class double out behind Manley. And here we go. We've got the, about 200 runners charging toward us right now. There's nothing better to see this herd of runners crossing, crossing the road as they narrow in into, into like four or five across. You're soon gonna feel the vibrations of the runners as they come by us. We've got an early pace sitter here. Decent in the top two or three. And we have our pack coming right on by us. Here comes a pace truck. State Open Champions. Zoe Deese is in the lead, about four seconds, about four seconds slower than he ran last year, the same, at last week at the same place. But look at the pack right behind him. McCauley's right there, Martin's right there, Bureau's right there. Just about, just before the halfway point 
about 2,200 meters into the race right now. Response by Marathon Sports, Hoka and Foss running camp. Just past eight minutes into the race. Still got a couple more to go. Second last year, it's looking like first this year. Here comes the Nighthawk from Newtown, Saeed Disa. He's got a good 70 yard lead. Looking smooth and relaxed. We're just over 15 minutes right now. Trying to dig for every single second he's got. Here he comes, our state open champion, Saheb Disa, 15-23 unofficially. We got a tight battle here for second, third, fourth, fifth. It's looking like Luke Cushing from Amity, the junior. He's gonna be the favorite for next year. Here comes Cushing, 15-40, Magnus Manley. There's McCauley, there's, there's Lavelle from Griswold, the sophomore. Here comes our second Ridgefield runner. Eo Smith, the slight end. Then we got Zwick from Staples. Here comes Bureau. Just over 16 minutes now. Eastland's got the second. Here comes the third Ridgefield. First, here's the fourth Ridgefield. This could be a Tiger Day. We got a couple East Limes though now. Where is Ridgefield's fifth? Here he comes. Ridgefield might have just pulled it off. Rock Hill's trying to make it in. We shed Rock Hill crossing 1643 right now. Here comes our first New Canaan, 1648. Here comes Sheehan, 1650. And now they're streaming across the line. Every single tenth of a second matters. Besides the championship, top six finishers for the team title make New England's here at Wickham Park next two Saturdays from now. Just remember, if you appreciate our coverage for my sports results, support Marathon Sports, Polka, and the Foss Running Camps in Torrington, Connecticut in August. Look at all these runners crossing the line. We got Staples, Guilford, Ward. We got a couple Ward runners here. Look at as they are clawing and scratching for every place imaginable. The grit and determination on their faces. This last little stretch is no joke. You have a, just a slight uphill. If you were running an easy jog, this would, you wouldn't even register this uphill, but at the end of a 5,000 meter race, it burns. When you're already hurting so much, you cannot use momentum. You gotta continue pushing all the way through the line. We're still at 18 and a half minutes now. Look at the runners streaming in still. We're, 
We're just about six minute mile pace right now, folks. We probably have runners coming in for about another minute and a half, approximately. All of them are having valiant efforts, trying to set personal records. Most, all these athletes ran this same course last week at the class championships. Many of them ran the Wick Invitational at the end of September. We're here at beautiful Wickham Park in Manchester, Connecticut. Site of next week's New England Championship. Down there. I guess. 